<laughs> well, a new CBS News poll released yesterday finds that 72% of the responders feel ill at ease over the situation with North Korea. And just 35% are confident that President Trump is able to handle the situation. The director of the Marquette Law School poll, Charles Franklin, is back with Good us today. You. Hi, Charles. Nice Good to, to see, see you. you. Now, these are CBS News numbers, right. not your the Marquette Law School poll numbers, right. but what do you think? I, well, I think what we've seen is, first of all, the Korea situation has been escalating all week, in rhetoric at least, and of course their missile tests have been growing throughout the year. The level of discomfort, that 72 percent you see, certainly shows that it's gotten the public's attention and we're worried about it. And the flip side of that, the percent that are comfortable with Trump's handling of it, is really about where his overall job approval is as well. And so in that, people aren't less trusting of him than their overall approval, but they're also not more trusting. Mm -hmm. And foreign policy is usually a strength for presidents. Uh, it's not a strength or apparently at this moment an excessive weakness. It reflects his overall weakness at about 36 percent. And these numbers have been going down month after month. They, they have. We've seen a steady erosion. It's easy to exaggerate how sharp it is. If you average across all of the polls, mm -hmm. Then he's gone down about seven, maybe eight points on the average over a course of seven months. So about one point a month. That may seem like not that much, but add it up over a year, and that's the difference between being in the 40s and being barely in the 30s. How bad is being barely in the 30s? It's quite bad. Um, Actually, a lot of presidents, about five out of the last 13 presidents, have fallen into the 20s at some time during their administration. Nobody's been as low as President Trump is right now. This early on. This early on. Um, uh, Bill Clinton fell into the 40s during May and June of 93, his first six months in office, but then he rebounded a bit. Trump doesn't show a rebound, and in fact, if anything, he's falling lower recently. Uh, I counted up the number of polls that he had been above 40 percent versus below 40 percent. That was 96 percent of the polls in January. It's 13 percent of the 23 polls so far this month. It's a pretty dramatic fall. Now the month's early. He could rebound later in the month. But what you see is a steady decline in the number of polls that put him over 40 to the number that put him below 40. Mm -hmm. it, will he hang on to that 35 percent? There's that Trump base, that the, core. The base is one of the things we've talked about. We talked about both ceiling and base during the election campaign. I don't think I believe in a floor that's absolutely inviolable. Now we do have great polarization in the country. There are Trump supporters that are very strong in their support of him. But when you look at the percent saying they strongly approve versus the percent that say they only somewhat approve, the strongly approved number has been coming down steadily as well. So that's a suggestion that even among those who somewhat approve, they're not the strong base that will never desert. Um, Republicans have held in the 80 percent range of approval but even there, you see a two or three point decline. So it's a very modest decline. It's certainly not a collapse of his support by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but as I say, month to month, you'll see a point or two change. It's what do you see over 12 months? What do you see over 16 months when we get to the 2018 election? That's what's going to be more consequential well, as we get this there. This North Korea situation right. could be pivotal in that respect. And really interesting to watch because international crises or events usually lead to a short-term bump up in presidential approval, even if it's a bad event. Uh, and so right now, we don't know how this is going to turn out. But we'd normally expect an event like this to result in a few points, short-term bounce that may disappear quickly. Let's see whether he gets a bounce over the rest of the month and maybe into September. And I would assume people running for re-election in 2018, especially Republicans, are concerned about these numbers. I think they're very concerned because one of the strongest predictors of how the party does in terms of seats in the House and the Senate is presidential approval at the time of the election. So if he were down in the low 30s at that point, that would normally be disastrous for the Republican Party if he 
pulls that back up into the 40s, it's not atypical. It's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Charles, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Interesting as usual. We'll be right back with the final check your forecast.